Hey guys, I'm Ronelle Hernandez with Web3 TV, and today I'm at a meetup hosted by ICP and Cypher Capital. Joining me here, we have Kimberly from Bankless Ventures. How are you today? I am doing very well. It's nice to be here. Nice to meet you. I wanted to learn a little bit more about what you do and Bankless Ventures. So I'm an investment analyst at Bankless Ventures, and we invest in Web3 projects across the entire ecosystem. So the scope is pretty broad, whether it's like DeFi, privacy, social, infrastructure, um, it's across the entire space. And what's the investment strategy right now given the market conditions? Um, so the investment, like our investment thesis is mainly around like the big unlocks that are supposed to happen. Um, we know that social is a big part of it and we haven't seen like a lot of consumer dApps as much as we've seen infrastructure. Uh, so we're actively looking at uh, consumer applications. And then the next component is probably on the privacy side. Um, we've had, you know, we've seen over the years, people have talked a lot about privacy and ZK, but we're kind of at that stage where ZK is at like a somewhat maturity level where more applications are beginning to use it. Um, and we're really excited about that right now. When you said social, did you mean like social fi? Yes, yeah, social fi, like just decentralized social, where I can like post a tweet and not have anyone censor it, um, that kind of social. Got it. So I did want to ask then, what do you think about X and it, the news of its license uh, for crypto payments and trading? Do you think that's a good thing? Um, I think it has its ups and downs. Uh, sorry, it's like pros and cons. Uh, it's kind of ironic to have to get a license for crypto trading, um, given that you know crypto is all about being an open and a decentralized space. But you know, X is a platform that has a lot of the masses, and this is another you know it's another step in the right direction to onboard those those guys. Because you know, imagine being on Google and you see a button to buy Bitcoin, for example, right? We have way more eyeballs now um, with this new strategy, so I'm, I'm quite excited about it. And so uh, then you mentioned, in addition to social, you also mentioned privacy. So what do you think are the biggest concerns right now in the industry when it comes to privacy and security and all that? So I, th I think there's like different verticals. Um, there's privacy on the data side, like how the data is being used. Um, and then there's privacy on like the information that you provide um, to a service provider. Um, and uh, one cool emergent thing is uh, the ZK ID component of it, right? Where I can verify my identity without someone ever having to, um, you know, actually like keep my passport on file. I think that's pretty cool. And we've seen some like cool innovations like with Polygon ID um, and some other uh, new technologies. So I'm pretty excited for that because you know, I'm, I'm a cypherpunk, I, I like to say that, um, and I, I'm very sensitive uh, when it comes to like data privacy and my personal information privacy. Okay, so then how do you go about curating your digital identity while at the same time being so cautious about your, your privacy? When nowadays everything is already out there. <laughs> so, in terms of my finances, I would say I'm a D5 maxi. Um, after the whole, what does that mean? <laughs> right. So okay. So after the FTX thing happened, um, had a bunch of funds there, lost it all after that, and then, thank you. And then I swore that I will never touch a centralized exchange ever. So from then on, I started actively using you know more DeFi protocols. If I want to do trades in real life, I just do OTC deals. Um, and I think. That is kind of like my strategy or how I think about, you know, my digital footprint. Just use decentralized protocols. Like in terms of my ID and like being um, in public, I'm docs, like everyone knows who I am. I'm 0x Kimberly on Twitter. Um, but that's not the problem. It's about like the financial part of it. Um, and you know, we have all these DeFi protocols and I'm actively experimenting with those. Okay. And then part of your identity, does this include owning any NFTs at all? Uh, yes, I own quite a few NFTs. Um, I'm not going to say which because... <laughs> uh, I had to ask. <laughs> except Milady. Uh, <laughs> you have Miladies? Of course. Uh, I don't know if anyone is going to judge me from this, but I, I quite like the Milady community. Um, we're very, they're very close knit and they're just funny. Like I buy NFTs for the vibes. That's it. Like I, I buy it for the community, for the people. I got kind of creepy vibes though. 
there are some like creepy vibes, but the other part of it is just very funny. And like, depending on like the type of comedy that you like, it, it's enjoyable. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Kimberly. Thank you so much. It was great to be here.